Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to introduce to you rotation matrices and order angles, one of the important topics in robotics, especially in attitude estimation. But first, I want to introduce to you a notion of frame. Since we operate in 3D world, we need to have three axes to describe the position and the orientation of an object. Based on the orientation of these three axes, we end up with different frames. We have inertia frame fixed to Earth. X axis of this frame is directed toward North Pole, Y and Z axis are, are oriented to East direction and Earth center respectively. Also we have a body frame fixed to the body of an object. So the attitude estimation is basically finding a relation between the body frame and the inertial frame. And we can find that relation using Euler angles. Euler stated that any attitude, any orientation can be described by three successive rotations. Rotation around z-axis we call it yo, rotation around y-axis we call it pitch, and the final rotation around x-axis we call it rho. It means that using Euler angles, we can narrow down the attitude estimation problem into estimating these three angles. And let me provide you with some example. At the beginning, we have an inertial frame with a rotation around z-axis, and we have this frame. Then we do rotation around y-axis, and we have this frame. And finally, we do rotation around x-axis, and we end up with this body frame. So by tuning your pitch and roll angles, we can map from inertial frame to the body frame, or vice versa. In this course, we will stick to this order, z, y, x. But there might be other orders as well, x, y, z, z, x, y, or we might even repeat x, y, x. Also, I found worthwhile to show this online tool uh, where we have this virtual plane and we can tune your pitch and roll angles and it will show the orientation of, of the plane. So by tuning your pitch and roll angles, we can set any orientation to, to this plane. Next step is to mathematically model all these rotations and we can do that using the rotation matrix. And for that purpose, let's consider a problem. Imagine that we have a point A and it has the following coordinate x, y, and z with respect to the inertial frame. So I plotted the inertial frame in that way. And imagine that we do rotation around z axis. So we have a new frame. So our task is to identify the position of of this point with respect to this newly created frame. Using the simple geometry, we can identify x nu and y nu using these equations. Z component stays unchanged because we do rotation around z axis. We can go further and encapsulate all these equations as just one matrix. So using this matrix, we can map the position of, of this point with respect to the inertial frame to the position with respect to this newly created frame. We can define similar rotation matrices for pitch and roll angles as well. And the interesting thing of using these rotation matrices is that we can multiply them to define several successive rotations. In our example, we do your rotation, then pitch rotation, then roll rotation at the end. And when multiplying these matrices, we have to keep that order. It's super important. So by multiplying all these matrices, we can estimate the full rotation matrix that allow us to map from the inertial frame to the body frame. If we do that calculation, we will end up with this matrix where S and C stands for sine and cosine. Next, I will explain how to use sensor readings 
to estimate roll pitch and yaw angles using this complete rotation matrix.